Being a god is arguably amazing, but hold on, what do I mean by a god? Well, specifically, I mean somebody that has the ability to control, add, or remove whatever they see fit in their own world. A painter, for instance, can add a tree or a rock with a few brushstrokes, thus modifying his world. An animator can take it a step further, and modify their objects across time, adding a sense of evolution. Let's call this a two-dimensional god, as he can control both the space and time of his own world. To take this a step further, we can graduate to a three-dimensional god, and I don't mean the three-dimensional spaces. I'm talking about the three dimensions of creation, space, time, and law. Law being the rules and physics of your own world, telling space and time how to interact and behave. Mastering control of these three dimensions mean you are able to create a fully immersive and interactive world of your own. In other words, you can make a game. And I can teach you. But what would make you want it in the first place? There are plenty of reasons why I might want this, so I think the easiest way is just to show it with examples. Which would lead us to my first point. Every human in this world has a desire to create, it's just how humans work. I for instance realize that there's nothing here in this shop. The reason for that is probably because nobody knows what it is supposed to sell. So how do I fix this as a god as myself? I hop in the blender and create whatever the hell I want. This is the privilege of a game developer, or rather a graphic designer. You can create, model, anything that comes to your mind. Given of course that you're not limited by your experience, but once you reach a certain threshold, there really is no limit to what you can make. Creation gave this stall purpose by turning it into a food shop, but I could take it further and add clothes, weapons, melee weapons, ranged we weapons, and potions, or this tree rather has potions. This is a perfect example of my second point. Your creativity is no longer bound by common notions and rules of the world. Because of this mistakenly placed sign, I decide this tree can grow potions among its leaves. Because I can. And because I am not bound by this world's rules and limitations, I make myself a ladder so I can climb myself up to the trees and see these majestic potions. Where I notice there are no potions. This leads me to point three. You have the ability to control which of your or else ideas make it into the game. The decision is ultimately up to you. Even the decision to not add it can expand on the world. As here I add an axe to warn any wanderers that this sign is false and this tree in fact does not sell any potions. This added to my world, albeit a little bit, this effect can stack and change your whole world, of course underneath your control. As a creator, you're not limited to what is yours and how much land you own. If you run out of space, you can simply expand and imbue this empty void with your own ideas. You may run into problems, shown here as a funny little animation. This task will not be easy, as it is a lot of work and can be mentally tasking. But what is the point of it if it was easy? Why would we do it if there were no challenges? As I finish this bridge, I create a path that brings me to a new world ready for me to populate with my ideas and creativity. This is literally what it means to be a god, to be able to create the land, the ocean, the stars. To imbue life into through animations and programmed NPCs, or to assign physics and laws based on programs. We as humans look up to gods, and worship them, but we do not realize we ourselves can be gods of our own world. If you yourself are interested in how to become one, consider subscribing because I'll be posting videos weekly. This is mainly focused on the Blender to Unity workflow. And this will mainly revolve around my daily model. I used to post videos daily about my models, but that didn't work too well, so I'll be focusing on higher quality videos, but less frequently. I'll try to find interesting ways to showcase the models I made in one week, kind of like what I did today, with this kind of god notion, what it's like to be a god. I don't know, uh, just a random idea I had to seem kind of fun. So, stay tuned, because I have a lot of ideas for tutorials. I really want to just teach everybody all that I know, any aspiring graphic designers who want to become one, or just simply don't know what to do with their spare time. Start learning, maybe you'll like it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and bye bye